So we've been talking a lot about the Surface Go lately, but one thing we haven't addressed directly is that four gigabyte introductory model for $399. Is it really as bad as everybody says who actually never touched it? Well, today we're gonna to give you a quick review and tell you if it's worth it or not. Stay tuned. All right, before we get started, mini rant here. So if you've noticed, a lot of the tech sites have all reviewed the eight gigabyte model. That's the one Microsoft sent out. And many of those same sites dismissed outright the four gigabyte option because why would anyone want four gigabytes? Not to mention the 64 gig storage is EMMC, which is significantly slower than SSD, which at least in the 128 gig model is actually pretty fast. And there's a lot of bias here towards these devices. I think a lot of it's unwarranted. As it turns out, Windows 10 actually runs four gigabytes pretty well. Now it's not for everybody, and today that's what we're going to talk about. All right, let's start with the eight gigabyte version. This is the one we reviewed last week. And as you can see here, just unlocked it. Got a bunch of stuff running. I have Photoshop Elements with a pretty high resolution photo that was taken a while ago, pre-beard. Uh, so I was doing some photo editing. I do have my tube open as well. Um, I have some settings. I have the news app open. I can click a story. While we're doing that, we'll load up Edge. You can see I have a bunch of tabs open, including Amazon. I have Steam over here. Everything is loading pretty quickly. Uh, no issue scrolling. I'll even open a new tab to show you guys how this is live. So this is the performance you get with the Pentium processor. And as far as I can tell, it's pretty snappy. Everything works as expected, and I really don't have any complaints about it. We'll even go and launch a game here. So this is X-Force, it's uh, X-Morph Defense. Sorry, it's a $20 game on the store. We are running in S mode. Not that that should really affect anything. Uh, these are standard apps here. Here we are playing X-Morph. Now this is set at full HD. Uh, the graphics are low, so there, it's not gonna be a super high graphics here, but it basically plays pretty smoothly. There's a co occasional stutters here and there, but this is a pretty high graphics game right here. This is, uh, by the way, pretty fun too. I've never actually really played this game before. But you can see the graphics handle just fine on that. That's partly due to the Intel HD 615 graphics on this device, which you know is a big boost over Surface 3. And for playing games like this, it's honestly no complaints. The load time is a little bit long when you first load the game up, but during actual gameplay, it's uh, no complaints at all, and I really, really enjoy it. Now we're gonna pause this and we'll go back to the desktop. Well, there we go, and we'll just continue scrolling through our stories. You can see a little second there to jump back in, but otherwise pretty fast, no complaints really. A big surprise here I'm gonna show you. Uh, sorry folks, this is actually the four gigabyte model the whole time. Yes, I pulled a ruse on you. This is the four gigabyte EMMC model that you can buy for 399. Now I was keeping it in S mode and I do stick to Edge. If you run it on Chrome, you may have a different experience, but I think the hype against four gigabytes is way overstated. The fact is Windows 10 actually manages its memory very well. You can see I jumped between games and tabs and there was really no lag there. Would it be better in eight gigabyte? Possibly. If you gave me both in front of me and asked me to tell a difference, could I? Probably not. Now for some of you, it will absolutely make a difference. If you're trying to do things like, some of you ask, can it run AutoCAD, which I've never run in my life, and I don't know, but I assume the eight gigabyte model will be better for that, right? Also for doing other advanced features like say film editing, yeah, obviously the eight gigabyte will be better, but there's a really good channel out there called Tablet Pro run by a guy named Justice, who's been looking at the drawing apps on the four gigabyte model, things I never touch because I'm not an artist, and he's been actually giving a lot of these things positive reviews, saying, yeah, you can run ZBrush, yeah, you can run Leonardo and all these other apps without a problem on the four gigabyte model. And this brings me to my final point. If you're thinking about buying Surface Go and look at that 399 model, don't dismiss it just outright. Also, if you buy it, don't sit there and look at the task manager, look at your memory management. The fact is Windows 10 will handle most of it. I think for a lot of people, this is totally fine. There was a user on Reddit recently asking about this. He's looking for a device that basically can watch Netflix on, go on the web, answer emails, quickly annotate maybe an article or a document, do some e-reading. Well, that's the kind of person who would love having the Surface Go and would be totally fine having the four gigabyte model. And this also breaks down to another way how you're gonna use Surface Go. If you're buying this device to be your ultimate and main PC, obviously you try to splurge for the eight gigabyte option. If, on the other hand, you buy this as a secondary PC, something you can take to the coffee shop, something you can use on the airplane, something to give the kids in the back seat, then the four gigabyte model will be totally fine for your usage. You can do a lot of games on it. Now these are store games, they're not gonna be the high-end stuff, but for casual stuff, it's actually a lot of fun. 
And one final takeaway regarding Surface Go, remember this isn't all just for consumers. A lot of this device is meant for the education market, which is why I brought that up at the beginning. This is supposed to compete against Chromebooks and even the iPad 9.7, which is why I compared it to it a few days ago. This is supposed to go into schools. It's meant for younger kids as well. That's why it's designed this way. And for them, four gigabytes will actually be fine, especially for schools who are on a budget. Overall though, the Surface Go with four gigabytes of RAM is fine. I know a lot of you guys use four gigabyte devices. So leave me a comment below. Tell me your usage experience and why everybody else is wrong about four gigabytes and why it's fine for most people. Hope you liked this video. Give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and take care, everybody.